Never accept these gifts, and if you have ever accepted this, then never do it again. These are certain gifts that should never be accepted as they attract negative energies into your life. You may think I'm being overdramatic or superstitious, but hear me out. These are the gifts which you have received at various times as these are common objects and they harbor heavy energies that can lead to mourning, lack, and severed relationships if welcomed into your home or life. By understanding which gifts to avoid and why, you can protect your energy and prevent turbulence in your relationships, finances, and more. It's not about seeming ungrateful, it's about conscious creation. Over time, the negative imprints from such loaded objects will compound silently. If you don't hold their entrance today, don't learn this lesson the hard way like I did. Now, my dear friends, did you know that over half of all gift-giving results in resentment, obligation or outright rejection of the gift? The statistics speak for themselves. Gift-giving is filled with landmines, despite coming from a place of love. We've all been there receiving that sweater from grandma that you'd never wear in a million years or that kitschy knick-knack you feel compelled to display. In our heart of hearts, we yearn for that nostalgic vision of gift-giving, beautifully wrapped packages filled with thoughtful items that make both giver and receiver feel seen, understood and cherished. But in reality, gift-giving misses the mark more often than not strained by expectations and interpretations. The truth is, certain gifts can actually introduce negative energies into our lives, leading to broken relationships, financial loss, grief and more. By understanding what not to accept and why, you can avoid substantial pain while still appreciating the gesture itself. As Antoine de Saint-Exupéry once said, a gift with a kind countenance is a gift indeed. My goal today is to help you recognize which gifts come countenance and which ones you're better off graciously refusing. Of all the questionable gifts you can receive, knives, scissors, and other sharp implements require your deepest discernment before accepting. According to the 5,000-year-old Chinese philosophy of Feng Shui, sharp objects carry an energy of cutting, division, and separation. They essentially represent a severing of connections in one's material world. Now, you may be thinking, a pair of scissors is just a handy tool, right? How dangerous can they be? But it's important to understand Feng Shui sees objects as more than physical items. Everything carries an unseen energy and life force. In the case of sharp objects, they have cut through history as weapons and inflict harm. Energetically, they can unintentionally sever the ties that bind fraying relationships, introducing grief and attracting loss into the areas of life they occupy. I can already hear some of you skeptically thinking this all sounds far-fetched, but having applied Feng Shui cures to my own home, I've witnessed firsthand the turmoil that stemmed from improperly placed sharp objects. After removing a decorative sword from my bedroom, my husband and I stopped getting into heated arguments every night, and hiding away kitchen knives reduced tension with teenage kids. While it seemingly defies logic, the difference was palpable. The bottom line is, your subconscious holds beliefs you often aren't even aware of. As the ancient Chinese knew quite well, objects influence energy flows, whether we perceive it or not, so be extremely mindful about keeping sharp implements out of intimate spaces like bedrooms and living areas. If you must display certain gifted items for appeasement's sake, have them cleansed by a professional first to remove any attachment. And avoid using such symbolic gifts in everyday life where possible. You'll prevent much heartache and misfortune. Trust me on this one. Now let's talk handbags and wallets specifically of the black variety. I know, I know, black leather carries such alja and luxury, doesn't it? In fact, I used to carry a chick black wallet myself as part of my everyday ensemble. But over time, I noticed a pattern of financial turmoil that correlated directly to this one possession. You see, in color psychology and symbolism, 
The color black represents mourning, loss, evil, and death. It's the color we drape ourselves in during periods of grieving. Scientifically speaking, black absorbs all wavelengths of light rather than reflecting anything back, much like a spiritual void or vacuum. And when it comes to a wallet, the very vessel carrying your wealth and abundance, this color association matters immensely. By placing your money and credit cards into a black wallet every day, it's akin to storing your finances in a spiritual black hole. The subconscious message becomes one of lack, where finances fall in and cannot escape. Over time, you may notice bankruptcy, debt, unexpected expenses draining your accounts almost mysteriously. My own health and wealth reversed course dramatically when I replaced my once-beloved black wallet with a cheerful red one instead. I cannot explain it logically, and you may rightfully remain skeptical, but I noticed the shift instantly. Within days new money-making opportunities came my way, and I up-leveled my income to six figures that year. So if you want to court more financial flow, I invite you to experiment by removing or replacing any black handbags, wallets, jewelry boxes or other symbolic money vessels that may inadvertently be inviting destitution. Monitor what changes as you introduce some brightness. You have nothing to lose. We've all heard the phrase passed down in reference to handing clothes or jewelry on to others. But when it comes to pre-worn items, it's vital to discern what exactly is being passed along energetically. You see, both clothing and jewelry absorb and embed the energy imprints of those who've worn them before us. And this can have real ramifications. Think about your own favorite sweater or beloved bracelet. You've likely infused them with experiences, emotions and memories over the years. This energetic residue remains woven into the very fabric and metal long after you remove the item. Even if cleaned or polished, imprints linger. So when accepting previously owned wares, you open yourself up to influences from past wearers, absorbing their mindsets, outcomes, sorrows, ill fortune or even relationships issues literally into your energy field and psyche. It brings profound baggage into your sacred inner realms that can really disrupt harmony. I invite skeptics to experiment here as well. Notice how you feel when wearing certain gifted or thrifted goods. Do arguments or anxiety seem to manifest more often? Does bad luck strike out of the blue? Try removing or replacing such items and monitor the shifts as I did you'll discover just how powerfully clothing slash accessories pass down much more than meets the eye. The bottom line is this. The vibrational plane is real. As quantum studies now demonstrate, everything carries an energetic signature at microscopic levels. So be extremely selective about pre-worn items allowed into your sphere of influence. Avoid family or hand-me-downs in particular, if possible. While well-intended, such offerings can covertly transmit unwanted dynamics into your budding future, a psychic inheritance you do not want to receive. Handle with utmost care. As we move into the final problematic gift category, I invite you to expand your mind a bit further as we dive into the world of ancient relics and antique offerings. I know how alluring such items can be infused with nostalgia, legacy and a sense of stepping into history itself. But trade carefully, my friends, for old objects tend to harbor extremely heavy energies accumulated from decades or even centuries of influence. You see, Feng Shu teaches that objects witnessing intense emotions, relationships, intentions or events absorb and record those energy patterns into their makeup at an imperceptible level. But the impressions remain over time becoming stronger and more turbulent as years pass and new owners add their psychic layers. Imagine an antique wedding ring or vanity set passed through generations of blushing brides. How many hopes, dreams, arguments, infidelities, even divorces and deaths has it silently witnessed? As current bearer, you inherit all of that frenetic emotional residue 
whether you perceive it or not. This goes for furniture, decor, instruments, anything with profound personal history and a layered timeline of experiences embedded within. Unless effectively cleansed, such items torrent a deluge of psychic inheritance into your sacred space and psyche when welcomed in. I cannot emphasize enough how cautiously to approach relic gifting. If you must accept out of obligation, immediately smudge with sage or soak in salt water under sunlight. Establish firm boundaries around the object's presence by containing it to one unused area rather than spreading influence. Monitor closely how you feel in its presence. Some energy cannot be cleared completely. And in those cases, you may need to politely sever ties rather than jeopardizing the sanctity of your inner realms. Tactful refusal takes practice, but proves essential here for self-preservation. So by now I hope I've convinced you to proceed cautiously when it comes to knife sets, dark wallets, heirloom jewelry and antique decor. While often well-intentioned, these giftings introduce potentially turbulent energies. So what's the best way to tactfully handle it when you receive such offerings? Here are some gentle tips. First and foremost, listen to your intuition in the moment one of these gifts is presented. Often you'll sense an energetic ping of discord or unease subtly encouraging you to politely decline. Go with that, but tread lightly. Casually explain how you adhere to certain spiritual principles or positive symbolic systems in your private spaces. Most will understand. If you must accept out of obligation, immediately have the gift cleansed by methods like smudging, salting, moon charging water to dilute imprints. Then contain it to spaces holding little emotional importance like garages, basements or sheds rather than internally focused rooms. Limit its influences. Should the gift give a question why the item doesn't seem prominently displayed next time they visit, again, kindly reinforce your right to curate your environment according to spiritual alignment or mental health. You may choose to reach if the item to someone less energetically sensitive if it becomes too burdensome. Key is maintaining composure and firm boundaries rather than seeming unappreciative. Explain the symbolic slash energetic mismatch if a close loved one. Offer to openly exchange the gift for something that better suits your needs. This maintains intimacy while preventing energy infiltration. Remember, as spiritual beings inhabiting a human existence, you have full authority over what enters your sacred inner realms. Set this intention clearly and the universe will honor it through synchronicity and compassion from others. You've got this. As we begin wrapping up this discussion, I want to offer some proactive tips for protecting your energetic boundaries on an ongoing basis when it comes to gift giving and object influence. Consider implementing some of the following. Firstly, set clear intentions, both inwardly and outwardly, regarding what types of gifts align with your spirit and values. Communicate styles, motifs and symbols that feel nourishing versus those you know will disturb your energy. This allows loved ones to synchronize gift selections with your needs. You may also choose to cleanse spaces more vigorously during times of heavy gifting like birthdays or holidays. Use sound, fire, water and intention-based clearing methods to keep energies neutralized. Think singing bowls, bells, drumming, sage, incense and beyond. I have links to my favorite products below for easy reference. Additionally, establish a receiving ritual when you obtain new items by immediately washing, charging under sunlight slash moonlight, playing cleansing music or even prayer. This helps transmute lower energies into higher vibrations before crossing your threshold. Finally, listen to your intuition and emotions without question whenever obtaining used wares or antiquities. If something feels off about a piece, Set it outside your home immediately until you can process its influences more closely through meditation. Don't second-guess your inner voice. By taking just small precautions like these, 
you can avoid much of the inadvertent turmoil certain gifted items might otherwise introduce uncontrolled into your world. An ounce of conscious prevention truly proves worth a pound of cure when ensuring your home aligns energetically with your highest self. Hopefully you feel equipped now to nip any questionable gifts in the bud. Trust yourself.